So the question is, how do we take advantage of Great Lent? Now often we hear about the things that we're not supposed to do. And these things are important. Some people decide to give something up during Lent. That can be an important uh, action in your life if giving up that particular thing uh, addresses perhaps sin that you see in your life or some sort of deficiency in your spirituality. If you're giving up something that isn't all that important to you or really won't make a great change in your life, then you won't find that sacrifice uh, very effective. Um, some people decide to take a more drastic step by participating in the Great Lenten Fast. Many members of the Armenian Church do this. This is important. To participate in the Great Lenten Fast means to abstain from all animal products. That includes not just meats and fish, but also dairy products and anything that comes from an animal. Why is this? This is because it increases, it's a spiritual discipline which increases in us an awareness of our day-to-day -day lives. We don't take for granted what it is that we're eating from moment to moment. We have to carefully consider the choices that we make, and of course, one of the most essential choices that we make on a daily basis is what we're going to put in our mouth. And so we develop within ourselves a sense of discipline that makes us spiritually aware during the period of Lent. So far, we've discussed some of the ways in which we abstain during Great Lent. But there, it's also just as important that during Great Lent, we do good works or we make positive changes in our life as well. If we were to quote St. John Chrysostom, he says about Great Lent, you can't just abstain from, uh, you can't just fast from food, but you also have to fast from sin. What we have to do is do good works of charity, provide opportunities for service in our communities and in our families. We need to find people whom perhaps we're in conflict with and reconcile with them to either forgive them or seek their forgiveness. It's also important for us to go to church and participate in the evening vigils and in the uh, divine liturgies on Sundays. So what we do and what we don't do helps to form within us a new spirituality so that when Easter comes around, uh, we are truly prepared to receive uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the Eucharist as we celebrate His Holy Resurrection.